Thanks for stopping by and welcome back to another New World video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a solo farm that I found where you can actually farm for some gear score upgrades as well as some nice drops. So this farm is going to be located in Shattered Mountains off to the right at the Spryla Tower. Uh, there's a mob here that spawns called Faye the Last Protector and she is a level 64 angry earth mob and is actually weak to both fire and slash damage. So I prefer to use the Warhammer though as you can just get a lot of stuns and DPS are like crazy. And, but I made sure to use a gem with ignited so that you can do fire damage just to get that extra bonus damage. Now some of the items that are able to drop would be the Earthbinder's Ward, which is a nice Warhammer that would be great for tanks. It has 30 constitution as well as some nice traits like Taunting 4 and Hatred, which both generate more threat. Um, another one would be the Phase Covenant. This is a nice rapier that comes with 30 dexterity as well as 2 life stealing traits and a luck trait as well. So that's pretty, pretty good if you ask me. Now unfortunately both of these weapons can also drop as an epic with one less perk on the weapon which is what actually happened to me even though though this is still uh they're both pretty good weapons in my opinion but the last drop that would be worth mentioning here is the chef pants these are epic pants that give you a decent little cooking buff so in order to farm this solo i would recommend using a life staff with some sort of stuns if possible or the great axe with the just ignited on it uh, now I found the easiest way to do this for me personally is to run to the left side here and take care of these few mobs that they're just really annoying to deal with if you like accidentally aggro them while you're fighting Faye. Now once they are gone though, I like to aggro Faye with the life staff and I kite her around this tree. She has a really hard time hitting you if you can get her just right on the tree and you're able to dodge most of her stunts. Then I like to place down my AoE heals with the life staff so I can heal and then I just spam her with heavy attacks and stunts. Also, I want to add that she will spawn every three minutes, but you just have to run back up this hill so that she can actually spawn. If you stay there around the um, her spawn point, she's not going to spawn, and I actually don't know how long it takes. So you can farm this super easy if you want with another person, which is what I did for a little bit. But I just want to focus on the solo aspect of this. And also, I want to say to make sure that you benefit from your luck perks as well, as I made sure to wear almost a full set of luck gear, and I feel like it's just going to help you out so much. So one last thing that I would like to add in this video, and it's still just a theory, because I still have to test it further, but I feel like mobs might be able to have drop cooldowns. As I farmed this mob for a really long time, as I really wanted to get that legendary hammer to make some good content for all of you, and I actually noticed that over time, it felt like Faye was dropping way more greens and actually didn't drop anything more often as when I first started farming her, she was dropping purples almost every time, and every now and then there'd be like a time or two where she didn't drop loot, but it wasn't that like significant. Again, this is still just a theory as I'm still going to test this and come back here and farm this uh, in a day or so because I really want to get that hammer. All in all though, Faye the Last Protector has some solid drops and I think this would be a great place for a solo to farm some items as well as gear. I hope you were able to gain some value from this video and if so, feel free to subscribe as it helps support my channel. Thanks again for stopping by the video and until next time.